Hi guys, I'm back with another swatch video which is about Glossier Sky Wash. It is a lip tint and it'll be easier to say it's a liquid matte eyeshadow. They just launched this product so I'm so excited to share all 7 different shades with you guys. All of these shades are inspired by nature like cornflower, valley and pebble. I will explain everything about this product so let's just right into it. Before starting color swatches, let me explain about the product itself briefly. It comes with no foot applicator, so it's very easy to use. Consistency is liquidy and creamy at first, and once you blend in your skin, it turns into powdery or velvety finish. It's very lightweight and very sheer, but some shades are more pigmented than others, so it is better to test and see what's best suit you. First shade is my most favorite shade, it's called Palm. This is Camel shade, it's very warm, yellowy brown shade, so it matches with my skin tone very well. I found that to do a makeup look with this product, no makeup makeup look suits the best, because the color pay of lip tint is very sheer, so a natural makeup look would be the best for you. To pop the color, I keep adding the color more and more in the video. But in real life, adding one layer could be enough if you want a natural look or if you want a little bit more intense look, you could also add second or more layers. When I apply this product, I keep blending the edges to make it softer. It is so much better when the edges are blurred than like obvious certain lines. Especially under the sunlight, it looks very natural and I love it. Next up is Terra. It's burnt orangey brown color. This shade is more pigmented than previous one as it's a bit darker. Kind of scary in the first place but you can see that it's not that pigmented and it is wash of colors. The result is sheer orange brown shade. I personally don't like orangey or reddish brown eyeshadow but I kind of like this look. This shade gives nice sun kiss looks so definitely we try this shade in summer again. It is nice to match the shade with gold jewelry as well. After adding another coat the shade pops on my eyes. That one is Belly. It is warm peach. This shade looks very natural on my skin tone as well. It does not look too pale or too orangey, just right in the middle. The shade makes them look useful and fresh, so perfect for a spring look. I actually put three layers of it, but you can see that it does not look that much intense compared to previous one. This shade looks good, especially on natural makeup I'm wearing today. No eyeliner, no foundation, just put a little bit lip gloss. I think simple look is the best with this shade. Next one is the shade Pebble. It's neutral top. Honestly, the shade is almost invisible. When I applied the first coat, I was like, where is it? It is way too sheer, so I apply second layer, and finally it comes a very sort of violet shade. So on another side, I put a concealer and an eyeshadow primer to see if they make differences. But I don't think it makes differences, as you could see. It is actually hard to see the color of my skin tone. Someone has lighter skin tone than me, the color could pop more. Next up, the shade Echo is Cocoa Brown. The shade Echo is the darkest shade among these seven shades. So the shade itself looks quite scary and very intense, but you could see that it comes up very sheer and wash of color. One coat would be enough for me, but if you put more layers, you could get the brown smoky eye look. Next up 
Next shade is known. It's neon green shade. I never want this kind of very vivid green shade on my eyes, so you are watching me wearing it for the first time. As it's pretty light shade, it is sheer, but at least it shows on my skin tone. The shade itself is scary because it's bright green color, but I think it gives very vibrant look. After adding more layers, end result is actually good. I had fun with playing this unique color. Last shade is pool, is cornflower blue. There is a reason why I put this in the last shade because it does not look good on my skin tone but I'm just showing you guys how it looks like surely there should be someone who suits this shade but that's not me as it's quite seamless I put more than three layers to show the color of my skin tone but the color itself is beautiful it's sheer baby blue color I wish I look good on with this shade So these are all shades of Glossier Skywash. I think it's my first time doing eyeshadow swatches, so I had such a fun with creating this video. I think I can use some of these shades for my everyday look because it is very subtle, readable, and easy to use. I hope you guys find this video very helpful, and tell me which one is your favorite, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!